What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll talk about what happened to Warzone. Of course, that's been a question that's been asked a lot over the last year and a half. Uh, even really since Warzone was, you know, announced and it came out with Modern Warfare. And as you can tell, there's some Black Ops Cold War gameplay in the background. That's because I'm not a fan of Warzone whatsoever. I played it for a couple months, never really enjoyed it. And a lot of the community now, a lot of the big streamers, a lot of the big content creators are kind of leaving it as well. And I don't know if that's a good thing for Call of Duty or not, because over the years, Call of Duty multiplayer has really lost its luster for a lot of people because of the skill-based matchmaking. That's one reason I don't play Black Ops Cold War as much anymore. It's just not as enjoyable. Uh, then when they added the ranked mode into uh, Cold War, it's kind of the same rank system we had in Black Ops 4, which is not my favorite. I wish we had a real ELO-style rank system like we used to have in Halo or even uh, from League Play back in Black Ops, uh, the older Black Ops days. But when it comes to the issues with Call of Duty in general now, Warzone was the one thing that was kind of carrying the franchise. Uh, it seemed that Activision was putting a lot of their money and effort into Warzone. And that was one thing that kind of I, I didn't like. I felt like they were kind of neglecting a lot of their multiplayer fan base because they were trying to push Battle Royale so much. And like I said, I played it for a couple months. Not a big fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of BR games anyway. There are a few I enjoy more than others. But I don't play any of them a lot, and Warzone was definitely one that I did not enjoy that much. And I'm kind of concerned now that we have all these issues within Warzone with hacking and cheating, and there's no anti-cheat. A lot of people fear that it's going to kind of move over into multiplayer if, you know, everybody just completely neglects Warzone uh, more than it already is. I'm sure that kind of, a lot of that stuff happens in multiplayer anyway. A lot of people, you know, don't like having to play crossplay. Uh, of course, you can turn that off, but if you turn it off in either even multiplayer or Warzone, takes forever to find a match a lot of times. But in general, I don't think it's going to be good for COD if they continue to neglect the multiplayer community, if they continue to neglect the Warzone community, uh, if a lot of these big, like I said, content creators, streamers, all start leaving the game and going to play other things. They're going to have to do something down the road to improve one or the other. I mean, personally for me, I hope it's the multiplayer. I like multiplayer a lot better, like I said, than Battle Royale. But something really needs to be looked at either the multiplayer side or the BR side or both to improve the experience for, you know, the fans for either or now when it comes to multiplayer, a lot of us, including myself are not very happy with what we know is going to be the next COD, which is world war two Vanguard. Even though we don't have an official title or official release date or a trailer or anything, there's so many leaks talking about this game being another sledgehammer game, of course, being another world war two game. A lot of people are not happy with that. If you look at the Battlefield situation, Battlefield went with a futuristic game. So many people are really hyped about Battlefield because of that and other things Battlefield's bringing. And I, I talked about this in a recent Battlefield video I made. Battlefield and COD have been games I have played since they first came out. So I've played every title ever made between both of them. And neither one of them honestly really interests me this year. One reason being, of course, I cannot find a new gen console uh, at a normal price. I've been looking since... Uh, you know, the uh, new gen consoles were announced last year when they went on pre-order. I have not been able to find one since then. I cannot get one every time I try to buy one. Of course, I'm sure most of you know, they're very hard to get. Um, that is one reason, of course, I want to experience these things on new gen consoles. But at the same time, both of them aren't doing things. Battlefield, probably more than COD, uh, is at least doing something that's going to keep people interested. But COD's just slowly but surely went from good multiplayer to decent multiplayer to really focusing on Warzone to now not even really focusing on Warzone as much. They're kind of letting that Warzone community slip. So in, in kind of the whole point of the video is just what happened to Warzone and what's happening to Call of Duty. Because if Warzone starts to fall off, I mean, what, what are we really left with? Because they haven't really taken care of multiplayer like they used to back in the day. And they haven't really taken care of multiplayer to, I think, a lot of the community standards in general. And the way they're handling war, uh, Warzone with no anti-cheat, a lot of that Warzone community is starting to go away and play other things. Or in the future, they will play new games that come out. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check, uh, check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.